my previous video, I was talking about the difference between AI and AGI, artificial general intelligence. In this and the next following videos, I want to talk about and share a few things I learned about AI technology. And today, I want to start with how a machine sees the world. So, it seems today a machine can see the world very, very well, like recognize human faces, recognize any random objects, right? But I believe machines are not even close to see a world as we see with our eyes. I hope by the end of the video you will understand why our brain and our eyes are way better. Today's AI is really good at recognizing a single object because of the training, but it has a very hard time to understand the environment as well as we humans. For example, let's take a look at those two pictures, this one and this one, right? It's very easy for us to recognize both of them are kitchens, but they can easily confuse our machines today. We humans define an environment based on the objects, but also based on what we can do with it, aka functionalities. Right? For example, we define living room as a place where we can watch TV, hang out with our friends, sit on the couch, read, etc. We define a uh, bedroom is where we can sleep, read books, meditate, and so on. Right? So we imagine what we can do with it, then we use that to define the environment. And what's fascinating is the functionalities are not something we see, it's something we imagine based on what we see. In order to do that, our brain built a very, very rich knowledge base of all actions. For example, simple like run, jump, swim, cut, and so on. With this knowledge base, which is really the foundation of how our brain can imagine things based on what we see. Now, knowing this, then we go back to the example. Even though these two kitchen, the objects in them are very different. We know they are kitchen because we know in both environment we can cook, we can prepare food, right? So we know they are kitchen. But it's very difficult for machine to do that today because machine today only understand if I see a stove, that's a kitchen. But if you um, like switch, replace a stove with like, a fire pit, it's easily got confused. So um, being able to imagine functionality of environment of an object is a very, very fundamental and key for the computer vision today. And if a machine is capable of doing that, Probably it does not really require millions of kitchen images in order to recognize a kitchen. Our world is three-dimensional, and uh, the images can perceive by our eyes are two-dimensional. So in order to fully understand what we see with our eyes, our brain has to recover and rebuild the 3D world based on the 2D images. And some scientists may argue, okay, mathematically it's impossible to recover a 3D world based on 2D images. So, before we jump into conclusion, let's take a look at this picture first. So, look at this picture. I think you, you should agree with me that this is a very big living room, right? But before we move forward, let's think about it. I didn't tell you the uh, square footage. I didn't tell you the ceiling height. I didn't give you any number. Why do you think the living room is big? Like, where do you get the idea big? The big is a three-dimensional um, information. How do you get that? It seems we just recover some 3D information. How did we do that? Our brain can do that because we have geometry common sense. What do I mean by that? For example, we have all the common objects in our life, and we know the size of, of all of them. For example, the Water bottle is about one feet tall. A compact car is about 10, 12 feet long, etc., etc. Many things like the window, the TV, we know the size of all of them. Even though they are not accurate, but they are more than enough for our brain to rebuild a 3D world based on what we see. Now let's go back to the example. How do we know this room is big? Because we see that there are three windows here, right? And then each window is about 10 feet. And then, so this size probably is about like 40 feet. So, based on the 40 feet, we think, okay, that's a big room. That's what happened in our mind the moment we see that picture. 
without even noticing it. But this part is extremely difficult for machine because machine does not have that geometry common sense. So the machine only knows, okay, it's a living room. I know the objects within them, but missed all the 3D information that our brain can do to recover and give us the full understanding of this 3D world. Let's take a look at another picture first. What we can see here is a man is about to fall. That's very simple and we don't even question it. But if you really think about it, it's interesting because this picture does not tell you anything about this man's falling. There's no tax. There's no another voice in your mind telling this person is falling. How do you know that? We know that because our world is based on physical laws. And throughout the millions, millions evolution, our brain is so good at applying the physical law, the physical common sense into what we see. For example, when we see something like this picture, we know that person, that chair is falling. And also, when we see anything that go against the physical common sense, we know something's off, like this and this. But today, it's still very difficult for machine to do it. Because, again, this knowledge base is missing. This physical common sense knowledge base is missing. And when machine recognize, recognize the picture, recognize the angle, recognize everything we can see from the image, but missed all the things that we can gain or informations after we apply the physical common sense on what we see. Last but not least, our human are very good at building connections between what we see and what's going to happen. For example, goalkeepers are very good at predicting, detecting where the ball is going to go, right? Where the player is going to kick the ball based on uh, the player's position, body movement, where the player's eyes are looking at, and where other players are, the position of other players. And if we go one level deeper, not only we can build a connection between what we see and the physical movement that's going to happen, but also we can start to um, think about what's happened in people's mind. For example, after we see someone, we can start to think about, is that person thirsty, hungry, confused, happy, or sad, right? Like all those information, they were not in the picture. They come from here, they all come from our brain. And of course, today's machine, lack of certain knowledge and a common sense. So the machine today, it's very difficult for them to do what we do to build a connection between what we see and what's going to happen. So the fundamental difference between our brain and the computer today is because we human has a lot of common sense that we can apply to what we see. Just like all the example above, we can recognize an environment better because we apply the action common sense to it. And uh, we can understand the, uh, we can rebuild the 3D world based on a 2D image because we can apply the geometry common sense and we can detect the uh, physical instability because we have the physical common sense. And because all the common sense above, we can build a connection between what is happening, what we see right now, and what's going to happen. So I believe in order for machine to be able to process and understand and see the world as well as human, it's very important for machine to have that common sense knowledge base as human do. Please like the video if you enjoy the content and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.